Well, welcome again, everybody, to the football wing. National Letter of Intent signing day is coming up Wednesday the 3rd, but three student-athletes have already enrolled here at the university, and one of them is Rex Culpepper, a quarterback whose name we've heard uh, going back more than a year, Rex, because uh, you were involved with the uh, previous coaching staff as well. Uh, what appealed to you about Syracuse? And we'll talk about uh, the kind of the commitment you made, but it's really gone both ways, hasn't it? Yeah, uh, it was definitely the relationships, you know, sitting down in the office with Coach Schaefer and, uh, you know, just – feeling the connection there yeah. and you know actually I hadn't committed on my visit and, you know we got to the airport and that was really the first time I had gotten to talk to my dad by like by myself just me and him and he grabbed my arm he's like you need to commit here like wow. you know I've, I've been through all this with you I've gone to every college we visited I've gone through it myself like these guys are real and you need to go there <laughs> and so I was like well you know dad knows best right so <laughs> sure talk to mom and the family about it and they were all like yeah like we, that was our, definitely our favorite place and you know, I had been all over the nation, and yeah. this place just felt like home. Well, that's cool. Let's start with your family background. Your father is Brad. He was a All-American lineman for Florida. Played in that 1991 game here uh, at the Dome, which was yeah. uh, really one of the great Dome games of all time. A, a stunning upset. Started with a kickoff return for a touchdown mm -hmm. uh, by Syracuse to beat uh, Coach Spurrier's team. And if I recall correctly, your father is kind of pointed that out to you oh, yeah. as something that was memorable. He said, you know, he tells a story all the time and, you know, he said like, oh, we were, we were in the buses going past the fraternities and it was their homecoming and people were out and they were all on the bus like, these guys really think they're going to beat us because they had just beat Alabama 35-0 and they were undefeated and he says that was the loudest game he's ever played in his, in his entire life and he said that, you know, Syracuse is on the rise and if we start winning games, they'll sound like that, and it's like a one-of-a-kind place to play. Yeah, Brad Culpepper had a nine-year NFL career, three stops, including Tampa, and that's where uh, Rex uh, and uh, his family make home. And so that obviously stuck with him, and I'm sure that appeals to you and all your teammates, right, to restore yes, that type of atmosphere. At yes, home. sir, for sure. How do you do it? Uh, well, I mean, we've got a, we got we've got the coaching staff to do it. I mean, I was. I committed here probably mostly because of my relationship with the co with the old coaching staff, and then I was pretty unsure. I didn't know what to do when they got fired because you know with my knee I hadn't played my senior year, so I was kind of nervous about it. And then I, you know, I immediately got called by Coach Babers and came up, took the official visit, and it was amazing. I loved the coaches. I mean, it it was a perfect fit if you ask me, and I'm just excited. To, they know how to win, and they're gonna take our team through what we need to go to to do it. Well, you're clearly a priority of this staff because they want to retain you from Coach uh, Schaefer's staff. And Coach Schaefer was very high on you, of course, and Coach Lester. Uh, that commitment I find interesting because it really was both ways, right? You had a knee injury, uh, so you weren't going to play uh, your senior year, but uh, Coach Schaefer kept uh, close tabs on you. Yes, sir. That meant a lot to me. You know, Coach, Coach Schaefer went out on the limb for me and you know, didn't get anybody else, and they just kept me in. It meant a lot. Like I, you know, my word was my bond, and I was never gonna, you know, decommit or, you know, anything like that. But with the new coaching staff, you know, even if they bring in another guy, I mean, competition. That's just something that there's gonna be in college football. I'm not sure. expecting to come in. You know, Eric Dungy's here. He's yeah. he had a great year last year. I just want to come in and compete and be better after four years than I was when I got here. How did you miss football last year? It was the worst. <laughs> it was the worst 15 games. I mean. It, was, it wasn't as bad, you know, when I got to coach my brother and stuff, but, you know, by the end of the season, I used to hate Friday nights having to watch and just knowing, like, those are my guys and that's who I trained with. And, I, of course, I tore it, like, a week before the season, so we had been through everything together. And, you know, it, it I mean, I would cry all the time about it. It's just emotional. It's hard. Yeah. Well, that's behind you, and I'm sure you're chomping at the bit to get on yes, the field sir. and learn this new system, right? For sure, yeah. You come from Plant High School in Tampa, one of the top high school programs in America, Division One players all the time, correct? And then going into these seven-on-seven uh, -seven drills and stuff, right? So you've really bought in, in in recent years here to your development. Yeah, for sure. Why? What appeals to you about football? I mean, you must really love football. How do you? How did it become as serious to you as it has? Um, it's always just been that like release. I know a lot of people say it, but it's somewhere something you can go to when <laughs> you're pissed off or when you're happy and. <laughs> You know, being it's like the ultimate team sport because unlike baseball or soccer, you're not competing with your teammates for the spot. Like in a baseball lineup, you know, you might start at shortstop, but you're hoping that somebody else strikes out when they're off to bat because you don't want to lose your spot. But you know, on the football team, when you look to your left and right, like these guys, I'm behind the line of scrimmage. Like those guys are protecting me. I'm. They're not taking my spot. They're giving me my spot. And I just think it's more camaraderie. And I played all the other sports, and football was by far my favorite growing up. 
that's great. And obviously, it's, you can tell that it's in your blood. Uh, what what makes you most excited to play uh, here at Syracuse? And now that it looks like you got a smile on your face relative to the new yeah. uh, style of offense, how, how are you suited for that? Um, well, I mean, they they throw the heck out of the ball, and <laughs> I'm a quarterback, so I love that. Uh, so yeah. Okay, well, I know you're excited for that. We mentioned uh, you have a unique uh, family background. Your father played in the NFL, and mom's been on TV a time or two as a, a competitor in Survivor. Yes, sir. Uh, so you're a competitive family, right? Does that, that run across the board? Yeah. Our, what's Monopoly like I in mean, your house? I mean, we, uh, so we play this one game called Bananagrams, and it's kind of like Scrabble. You get all these uh, letters, and so you start off with 20, and you've got to make them all words, and they've got to attach them. And we'll sit down at dinner at the dinner table and it will end in fights people will be throwing stuff I mean, it goes down and judge and i we play ping pong every night and the neighbors will hear us screaming and arguing about points so it we're a very competitive household brother and sister right yes sir okay well i'm sure we'll see them up here before uh too long rex welcome aboard thank you uh, good to have you back and healthy correct yes sir and uh best of luck here at spring ball thank it's you. going before too long okay? yes sir Rex Culpepper, new orange uh, quarterback, uh, one of the very few recruited uh, in this class and the only one we expect on signing day.